Day 34 and the MLB lockout, yes, 34 days. And the only thing that we have gotten that is newsworthy to talk about is the fact that Ken Rosenthal is out at MLB. Uh, but when we say MLB, MLB Network, he will not be featured on MLB Network anymore. Um, uh, all because of some things that he said about the commissioner, Rob Manfred. And honestly, if you want to talk bad about your employer, I'm not saying he did or didn't. But if you are going to do that in any job sakes, you are willing the risk of obligating of possibly being let go or and or fired. But the thing is, for Ken Rosenthal, he's still doing his athletic stuff for baseball-wise. He's still an MLB insider that way. He's still an MLB insider over at Fox. So he's still sitting good. He just won't be showing up on MLB Network anymore, which kind of sucks because Ken Rosenthal is a guy that I kind of gravitated towards when going through college and trying to figure out what I want to do for a living. And he was the guy that kind of was a, a not a guidance person to me. Like, is that, I want to be Ken Rosenthal. I want to be Carl Ravish of the Baseball Tonight crew. I want to be Jeff Pass and what he's doing right now. But it sucks to see a guy, the caliber of how good stature he is and how credible he is inside the game of baseball, not being showed on the main network for baseball, such as MLB Networks. You want your top guys there. I love John Heyman. There's, perfect, there's a perfect room for him to be on there. I love Ken Rosenthal. There's perfect room for him to be on there, but the fact that he's not on there anymore, it sucks. Like I, it, it, it really hurts me as a fan and also hurts, I think this also hurts the sport itself for it not having its best insider to be on actual MLB Network because that's that's the main goal. That's the main dream. God, granted, Ken Rosenthal gets to live his dream every single day, and I, that's what I want to do. I want to get to that point where I'm on MLB Network, which is going to be far from, it's a long shot. Trust me, it is. But it sucks that the only news that we have here 34 days into this lockout is the fact that a, an insider it was let go by MLB. That is where we're at now in the lockout stages of just trying to find something to, you know, grab and gravitate towards. Because everybody in, in like social media, such as Twitter, was shocked. And I mean shocked. The fact that Ken Rosenthal got released and or let go or fired. I think would you classify it as fired? But then again, he he always goes back on his word. I, I love Ken Rosenthal for it. He's a, the man of the people, and I, we I appreciate you for that. So if Ken Rosenthal, if you ever get, come across this video, you're more than welcome to come on my show whenever you want. Whether it's over on 1660, coming out on 610, like even over, uh, yeah, even on this Kramer Sanson Network. Feel free. I would love to have you. But Ken Rosenthal, I wouldn't say he's a free agent because he's already on Fox and the Athletics, so he's he's still doing good. He's still in baseball. So yeah, let me just think of the video. Let me know who your favorite insider is because I mean Jeff Passan. As long as long as you don't say like, oh, I, I liked it when uh, David Ross was in the booth. I absolutely hated David Ross in the broadcast booth. He's not even an insider, so I don't even know why I even brought his name up. I just wanted to, I guess, bad talk of Chicago Cubs coach. Now he is. He's not a broadcaster anymore. Yeah, let me know who, who's your favorite insider. Did uh, Ken Rosenthal do the right thing or the wrong thing? Let me know in the comment section down below. I respond to you always. Um, if you have a, a sports question, feel free to put it into the comment section down below as well. Make sure you like this video, share it to a friend, post it on one of your social medias, tag me at Kramer Talk saying, hey, yo, uh, watch, uh, watch this daily vlog Kramer does. Yeah, do that. Everybody, have a good one.